statistics suggest that one out of three women will be diagnosed with cancer in their lifetime and 90% of them regard hair loss as the worst side effect of cancer treatment. Hi, I'm Yatin Deshpande. I'm a hair and makeup artist by profession and I have this initiative called Hair Aid where uh, we make uh, wigs from hair which is donated by people. I'm using the citizen journalist platform to create more awareness amongst the Indian people so that more and more people can come forward and donate their hair rather than that being junked and thrown into the dustbin. A simple act of donating hair can mean a whole lot of difference for someone battling cancer. In this small workshop in Mumbai, Yatin will sometimes work for months to make a single wig and one major challenge is procuring real hair. And for that, Yatin depends on generous hair donors. His website, hairaid.org.in, was started with this aim, to motivate women with long hair to donate their hair for women who are fighting cancer. I can't tell you the expression on their faces. I wish I could capture it when they see themselves after they've lost their hair and they see themselves in the mirror after they've worn a wig. Okay, in fact, when we were planning to do this story, we spread the word around, we put it on our website, Facebook and Twitter accounts. We were looking for women who would want to donate their hair, cut them really short or even shave them off completely and make a difference in someone's life. But uh, we knew a lot of women would not be willing to do that. Well, uh, that was till we met Tarani. Tarani, a young, pretty college student, was turning 21. A time when looks, friends and image matters, she decided to do something really brave. Tarani was going to shave off all her hair on her birthday. I thought that she wants to cut her hair. That's when she mentioned that she is willing to donate her entire hair, which is shaving off the hair. So this was really uh, a great thing. A camera shy Tarani sits as a whole family and friends stand around in nervous anticipation. To see all of our friends, the whole family is here. Hi guys! Hi! Wow. <laughs> Yatin starts with careful sectioning of her hair, so same lengths of hair can be put together. If her heart is pounding and she's having second thoughts about the whole thing, Tarani's happy smile is not revealing any of this turmoil. You're happy with what she's doing? Yeah. You know that it's going to help That's someone. That's why I'm happy. Yeah. yeah. And it's very brave of her. Very brave, yeah. And finally, the moment of truth. Yeah, we're going. Everyone ready? The clipper smoothly slips into the hair and out comes the first chunk of hair. And then one by one, section after another, Tarani's beautiful round head starts seeing the light of the day. It was time for the revelation. One, two, three. Actually, I do have a good shape. Yes. <laughs> As the family is still getting used to the happy monk, Yatin carefully stores all the hair that will be used to make a wig and bring a smile to someone's face. I have to say, Tarni is glowing and this new look is great on her. Perhaps she will be an inspiration for many, many who know her, many who will be watching her story. Now the process, once I've got the hair, what I need to do is I need to do, convert it into a wig. Now that process will be done in Mumbai, Mumbai. and we'll continue from here over there. Yeah, so see you in Mumbai. As we follow the story ahead, we show you how Tarani's act of shaving off her hair will make some woman battling cancer very happy. Also remember, if you want to be a part of this initiative, shaving off hair is not mandatory. You can contact Yatin on his website hairaid.org.in.